Hi, my name's Susie, and if you're a mom like me, you know how crazy our weight nights can be. And usually we end up eating something not so healthy super fast, but I'm gonna show you how to make something super fast and easy that's actually healthy and that your kids will hopefully love. I'm gonna show you how to make a ginger soy glaze salmon and green beans. Don't get scared, it's a lot easier than it seems. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the blackstone to high heat. I don't cook on high heat, but I just want it to heat up really quick, so we're gonna start that. We're also gonna put water in the pot to get that started for our green beans, but for now, let's go ahead and start with the marinade. So to do the marinade, this is simple and easy. Like I said, it's a weeknight meal, so it's as simple as a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna probably do maybe five to six tablespoons. It's a really great healthy fat. I love a good olive oil. I like to use Bragg's liquid aminos in place of soy sauce because it's a little bit healthier alternative. Um, it's lower sodium and it's also gluten free. Um, so this is what I use in replace of all of my soy sauces. You can also use a low sodium soy sauce, but I definitely recommend low sodium on that. Okay, then we're gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard for a little bit of kick. So this is our ginger stir and paste. I love this because it tastes just as good as the regular ginger, but I don't have to grate it and peel it and all that stuff. So I like to go for this. You find this in the produce section. Um, and all I have to do is just squeeze in a little bit of that. It's pretty strong, so maybe about a tablespoon. And the last little element we're gonna add in here is some fresh garlic. I'm just gonna put this in my garlic press. Maybe one clove should be enough for this small batch. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now that our marinade's ready to go, we're just gonna grab our salmon and the shrimp as well. And we're gonna salt and pepper those just a little bit. Gotta have salt and pepper on all of our meats and, and seafood. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down to medium. We heated it up on high, but we're nice, nice and good and hot. So we're gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on. The reason I love avocado oil is it's good for high heat. A lot of people don't know that your oils matter with high heat. So always use avocado oil or a coconut oil when you go for high heat. You don't wanna use um, delicate oils in this type of environment. So we're gonna go ahead and take our salmon and put this skin side down on the grill. And then we're gonna take our shrimp. I've been letting that thaw. When you get shrimp, you can just throw it in a colander and let it thaw out in the refrigerator or put it under some warm water if you need a quick thaw. Now our shrimp are gonna cook really fast, so we wanna hurry and get some of that marinade on there. We don't wanna overcook our shrimp because then it starts to turn tough. So. Let's just put a little bit of marinade. This is one of the main reasons I love a Blackstone is that you can make those quick, easy meals without having to marinate for hours beforehand. If you're like me, on a weeknight, it's like, shoot, what's for dinner? And so this is one of those fast things that most of these ingredients you have on hand and you don't even have to take the time to marinate because you're gonna be cooking it in all of those yummy juices. So you'll see we can just dump that right on the fish. And already our shrimp are starting to turn pink. I just wanna to toss those a little bit and make sure they get in all that yummy marinade. That soy ginger glaze. To cook the salmon quicker, I'm gonna take this dome and put it right over the top. Um, I like to add a little bit of water just to give it that steaming effect at first to cook the salmon all the way through. So you can see as you add water, it creates steam. And I'm just gonna cover that right up and let that continue to cook underneath there. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the green beans. I love these because they're a quick and easy weeknight vegetable because they only take a minute or two here in the pot. So I've already got my water boiling. So all I'm gonna do is just, I'm actually gonna add some salt first, maybe a tablespoon of salt. And then gonna add these green beans in here. You don't wanna overcook green beans because then they're really yucky and mushy. Um, kind of like canned green beans. No good, this is like the way to go. It's only a minute or two, I promise. So we're gonna make them taste really good though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up a couple of these little peppers to add some flavor. I like to buy these baby peppers because I like to eat them for snacks too. And then you get that bright array of colors. So it's, it's up to you what you, what you wanna do. But if you just have a red pepper on hand or an orange or whatever, just use whatever you have. So I'm gonna take these over here to the griddle. We're gonna use that avocado oil again, once again, because it's that nice high heat oil. And then I'm gonna take the onions, just gonna throw those on there. We're also gonna throw on the peppers, get those going. 
So like I said before, we only want these to be in here for about a minute or two so that they don't overcook, but we are gonna throw them on the, on the Blackstone with these other flavors. So it's gonna make them really yummy. That's what I love about the Blackstone is it's like one mess in the same spot and you can cook everything together. It's so awesome. Okay, so the green beans are perfect. They've just been in there about two minutes. We're gonna throw them here on the griddle. Um, if you want to, you can throw them in an ice bath at home, but you know, it's November in Utah. It's a little cold out here. So we're considering this ice bath here in the air for a second. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and take those and just toss those in together and finish cooking them with the onions and the peppers for just a minute. Then we're gonna add some garlic. One clove should be enough for this. When garlic burns, it goes rancid and it tastes yucky. So you just wanna add that for the last like 30 seconds. So if your kids are like mine, if there's butter on a vegetable, they're a lot more likely to eat it. So we gotta add a little butter in here with the green beans. You can omit it if you'd like and just have like a healthy oil or something, but we're gonna add that butter and then a little bit of splash of our aminos again, or soy sauce, or low sodium soy sauce, and a little bit of salt. You can see how they're nice and still beautifully green, not overdone. Our shrimp look fantastic. Those are about ready to pull off the grill. Let's check on our salmon here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, all I'm gonna do is just give this a nice little sprinkle of aminos and maybe just turn that real quick to sear. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so plating is really easy. We're gonna do it family style tonight. Like I said, a little less dishes for that weeknight. We're just gonna get these beautiful green beans and throw those on the bottom there. Look at that beautiful color. So gorgeous. And we're gonna take our shrimp, put those on the top. They look gorgeous. You can see how nice and brown they are. Got a couple runaways, that's okay, that happens. Next time I'll buy the bigger shrimp. <laughs> Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and add our salmon. You can either serve it skin side up or down. So there's one last thing that I like to do to make this weeknight meal extra fancy, and that's just to add some sesame seeds. It makes it really pretty. I also have this little sesame seed mix that I like that has the black and the white ones in there. Kind of gives it that fun Asian flair and makes your kids feel like they're eating out on, on a weeknight. And then a little bit of chopped fresh green onion for our green beans is kind of fun as well. So. Super simple and easy. You don't have to go that fancy if you don't have it, but it makes the kids feel special and hopefully they're gonna enjoy the smell. Ginger and soy glazed salmon with shrimp and our delicious Asian green beans. Quick, easy, healthy weeknight meal. You'll love it. Mm -hmm.